Welcome back to Living It Away. The Aloha United Way has been very busy helping to make Hawaii safe during COVID times. And they've enlisted the help of partnering companies, and there's a way you can join in on the cause. We're talking today with Lisa Kimura, the Vice President of Community Impact at Aloha United Way. Thank you so much for being with us on Living It Away. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Uh, you know, the Aloha United Way has been incredibly active supporting uh, communities in 2020. Can you tell us what you guys been up to? Yeah, absolutely. It's been a really, you know, jam-packed year. That would be an understatement. Um, and we've really been at the forefront on the front lines for people who are facing the really imminent threat of losing their homes, of being worried about how they're going to feed their families, um, the, the job losses and the, the challenges that they have with being able to access unemployment. You know, these are complicated issues and no systems in our state were built to encounter this enormous onslaught so quickly and you know incidentally our ALICE report which is an acronym um, for asset limited income constrained employed it's an economic report that Aloha United Way puts together to talk about kind of the economic threat to people and, and what the really cost the real cost of living is here the ALICE report really identify these existing problems and the potential for another kind of catastrophe like COVID so what we've been doing is, is just being able to build up systems to be able to respond, be able to get assistance out to people. We've been very busy with fundraising to make sure that we can turn around the, the support to other agencies in the community that are servicing people. It is workplace campaign season for, for many people in Hawaii. So what does that mean for Aloha United Way? We also have the really fortunate opportunity to be able to go into people's workplaces to be able to fundraise on behalf of the community. Um, the, the monies that we raise from workplace campaigns not only help support our 211 service, it helps support safety net grants to provide food, housing, crisis, disaster, shelter type services, um, but also to fund the ALICE initiative, which are also nonprofits that are working on finding ways for Hawaii's residents to not only afford our, our, our quality of life, but be able to thrive. All of those services, all of those programs are, are really central and core to what Aloha United Way does. And uh, the workplace campaigns are a central part to helping us be able to provide them. And when people donate to Aloha United Way, those programs that I mentioned are, are supported through it. Um, we reach with, right now with our 211 line, for example, over a thousand calls a day. So donations to AUW support programs like that that immediately help provide resources, support, and information for Hawaii residents. You mentioned the 211 operators. I'd like to know how they're doing through this whole thing because they are working diligently seven days a week. They really are. We expanded our hours from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. seven days a week. And the kinds of calls that they get, you know, can be really devastating. Um, they're talking to people that are living on the edge or have been for some time. It's not just like they pick up the phone and start talking. No, they're trained for weeks before they're actually able to talk to people. Not only good customer service, but just being able to manage crises that people might be going through. Plus just being able to navigate through. We have 5,000 programs and resources across the state in our database well the holidays are coming up i would you know you talked about people wanting to be able to help how can somebody help thanksgiving christmas it's right around the corner we are a generous culture here. We care about each other. And, and for whatever extent that people do have the ability to give, at whatever level that may be, whether it's of their time, but also of their financial resources if available, every little, every single dollar, every little bit that comes in is multiplied by the power of many, many other caring individuals. And it's not just one person's donation, it's one person's donation multiplied by the impact that they lot. And again, just encouraging people to, to do what they can, whether it's of time, of service, or of their financial resources, it does make a difference. People making differences in our community and trying to gather help for, for those in need. I mean, I think they're doing a fabulous job and we can all do our part. 
we can do our part and that goes you know for everything and including what i'm here for today mana up it's supporting local supporting businesses nonprofits, giving a hand up and all about the aloha all around so great to see everything that's being done in that realm